Am I the asshole for selling my daughter's car? I have a son and a daughter. I like both of my kids equally however they are different individuals with different lives so I help them based on their needs. My son did not do well in high school and went to a community college and decided it was not for him after a semester and went to trade schools and eventually settled on HVAC. He had issues sticking to things, so as a reward when he became certified in HVAC I bought him a brand new truck as gift. My daughter got into a good college out of state and was always more academically minded. When she was about to finish HS it came to a surprise to me that she had taken it for granted that I would also get her a new car even though I never said that. I explained that there would be no need for a college girl in a big city to have a car. She then asked if I could help with tuition, I did not pay for trade school either so I declined. Eventually she seemed down so I offered to buy a used car in my name, and she could use it for a while until I decided to sell it but she would have to maintain it. She seemed really happy with that so we got an old 99 BMW for really cheap. The body was in good condition, but the engine and transmission needed work and it needed painting. She did the essential fixes first but then slowly did unnecessary ones even though I never asked for that and repainted most of the car and had the interior detailed. When she came back for a visit this week after finishing her finals, I decided it was time to sell the car and listed it. She seems upset with me even though we had agreed to it and I never asked her to repaint the car. She said she thought I was going to sell it much later when it rusted or something. She also says I can sell it more expensive because of her fixes but the reality is I got the car just before the pandemic and used cars cost a lot more since and that is why I can sell it for more. I offered to pay her back for the half of the paintwork. Am I the asshole? Here? Edit OK seems people think it was wrong, but my son only got the truck after schooling and my daughter has not finished school yet. I have not thought of her graduation gift yet. But the car is only listed and I will think about it and reconsider. Edit 2 OK I will let her keep it and delist it for now. My plan was always to sell it as I feel like 90s BMWs in good shape are desirable but she seems attached to the car now. This post makes me so sad. Of course you're the asshole. And helping based on their needs is you knowing you are favoring your son and treating your daughter like trash. You bought a car really cheap. Then your daughter paid for the engine and transmission work, painted it, detailed it and maintained it and now you want to sell her car? After you bought your son a brand new truck? I would never speak to you again. You're the asshole and you clearly have a favorite. You bought your son a brand new truck but decided that your daughter didn't need a car. But when your daughter asked for you to help her with her tuition you said no because you didn't pay for your son's tuition, conveniently forgetting that you did buy him a brand new truck. Not buying a truck for your daughter didn't stop you from buying one for your son, so why did not paying your son's tuition stop you from contributing to your daughter's? You bought your son a brand new truck and you're not even willing to allow your daughter to keep a used car that you got really cheap. Yeah, you're the asshole and you don't help your kids based on their needs, you favor one of them massively. Wow you're the asshole. It's like you are punishing your daughter for her success or something. And to pay her only half the paint etc. After she paid for all the essential fixes too? Yes, you're the asshole. You're the asshole I'm guessing you're going to have a future post that says my daughter hasn't spoken to me in years, but I didn't do anything wrong. You're the asshole does her mother hate her too? You're the asshole. I know one of the first things you said was you like your kids equally, but that's not how you treat them. He did the bare minimum you rewarded him. She excelled and you punished her. You're the asshole. You bought a car for cheap because it needed engine and transmission work. Which is rarely cheap repairs. You had her pay for these repairs and are considering it maintenance. Dude, knowingly buying a vehicle that needs engine and transmission work does not maintenance. She then did addition work on the car and repainted it. 
you consider this appropriate because you didn't make her pay you to use the car you got your daughter to pay for flipping the car. You're screwed if she picks out your nursing home. You're the asshole. I thought you were going to say you bought your son a new truck and paid for your daughter's tuition. You didn't. You bought her an old car then decided to sell it in her with no notice. Did you sell your son's truck? Of course you're the asshole for so clearly favoring your son. I offered to pay her back for the half of the paint work. You bought your son a brand new truck and you can't even pay for all of the paint work for your daughter, at the very least. You're the asshole. X200B. She then asked if I could help with tuition, I did not pay for trade school either so I declined. But you bought a new vehicle for your son and not for her. You could have at least paid some of her tuition equal to the cost of the truck. You're the asshole. What exactly have you done for your daughter? You're the asshole. My son sucked at school, didn't apply himself and dropped out, had trouble sticking to things so I bought him a shiny new car. My daughter is smart, did well, got into college. Why would I buy you our car? Fine here's an older car that needs work. Well now that you've done all that work him going to sell it from under you ha 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 I am the devil. You're the asshole. That's horrible. What are you trying to do to your daughter? The poor girl just spent so much money for you to turn around and sell it for no good reason. You're the asshole so much I am almost speechless. You literally hate your daughter for being more successful than your son and it's disgusting. You got your lackluster performing son a brand new truck for being mediocre and your better performing kid the use of a used car she'll never own, you certainly know how to play favorite. You're the asshole. You've probably done this all of her life. Just admit that you don't care about your daughter. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. First of all assuming you are in the US it's incredibly stupid of you to think that she wouldn't need a car while living in a city. Secondly you're just punishing your daughter for being better than your son. When your daughter no longer wishes to have a relationship with you, please read your OP to understand why. You're the asshole. Big time. Quit favoring your son so much, and spend a little time recognizing your daughter and her accomplishments. You're the asshole. The way you treat your kids is weird. But, uh, I wonder what you're going to have to reward your son with so he sticks with taking care of you in your old age. You're the asshole for blatantly favoring one child over the other. So she's finished school without any help from you and before she has time to turn around you yank the car away from her, cashing in on all the fixing up she's done on it. Unless you are in dire financial straits and need the money to avoid foreclosure or for major surgery you are definitely T.A. If you were any kind decent parent you would give her the car as a graduation gift or at least let her keep it until she can get a job and a car of her own. But being a good parent seems to be the farthest thing from your mind. You know what your daughter would have found useful during her education? Knowing that her father loves and supports her. Your daughter worked hard and excelled, and you're punishing her for it? You're a terrible parent. You're the asshole.